so my contention is that probably Rige or its ancestors, Scar or uh, Calypso, maybe their offbeat propensity is down to the banjo. Um, down to the rhythms you naturally play on a banjo. And reggae songs on a banjo are pretty much as easy to play as anything else. It's certainly easier than playing the guitar. If you think of, say, something like John Denver's Take Me Home Country Roads, I'm not saying that that song was influenced by the banjo, although it's a country song and country music was usually influenced by the banjo, but it's a piece of folk music. It's reasonably easy to pick out the melody and maintain the rhythm on a banjo, but if you've ever heard the Toots and the Maytales version, it's awesome. I mean, it's almost a all along the Watchtower moment. Um, fantastic version of it. A great reggae track. And if you see how easily it can then be interpreted in a more reggae or offbeat fashion, I think you'll see what I mean. To pick out Take Me Home Country Roads, to be able to pick out the melody and play the chords at the same time, I think that would take me a lifetime on the guitar. I think it took me an afternoon to work it out on the banjo. In fact, once you get that claw hammer rhythm thing down and that becomes second nature, you, you've really only to work out what the melody of a tune is, a suitable tune, uh, in order to crack it. And so you can routine any number of songs that you already know and so it is much easier to be self-sufficient to play a melody and throw in a few chords on a banjo than it's ever going to be on a guitar. End of story. <laughs>